Swinburne University of Technology. I'm Dr David Newman, I'm the Head of Aviation Research here at Swinburne University. Well my background in aviation started uh, in the Air Force, I was a, a medical officer in the Air Force for about 12 years or so uh, and became a specialist in aviation medicine. After I left the Air Force I was a consultant in aviation medicine on a global basis for about the last 12 years and uh, I've been here at Swinburne for the last four. Swinburne University's had a long history, approaching 21 years, of providing training for pilots at university level. So the decision to uh, expand that capability into a research one with the uh, commissioning of the Aviation Research Laboratory with these two flight simulators here was an important step in the evolution of the university. So we chose the uh, Redbird flight simulator that you see here, which can uh, simulate single engine or twin engine fixed wing aeroplanes. Uh, that was an important uh, first step in getting a research facility underway. And then uh, a year later we uh, took delivery of the helicopter simulator, which you see here, which gives us capabilities therefore to do research in both fixed wing and rotary wing operations. So our aim is not only to attract high quality PhD students to our program here, but to continue to work on uh, aviation problems uh, as the industry uh, is facing them. Things like fatigue management and how to improve uh, human interaction with the aircraft to avoid human error, which accounts for a majority of accidents worldwide. So we see Swinburne University playing a leading role in that area. My name is Shravan Pingali. I'm a PhD student in aviation. My research looks at scanning patterns of pilots. My experiment uh, requires pilots to fly the same pattern uh, between two airports, first in a glass cockpit and then in an analog cockpit. So this uh, experiment might require them to perform some emergency tasks or unusual tasks like uh, recovery from unusual attitudes or maybe trying to land with uh, engine failure or something like that. This research is very important because uh, pilots at uh, Swinburne University learn to fly in glass cockpits and when they get jobs they probably do not fly in a glass cockpit, they'll have to fly in the older analog cockpits. So my research will look at how they cope with the changes and uh, find any problems or difficulties they have with the, cha uh, with the change and uh, develop uh, training methods to make it easier for the future. Well, the research facility you see here contributes a lot to Swinburne's reputation as a leading provider of aviation training and research to not only Australia but the whole world. Uh, we take our research and present it internationally. Uh, we've uh, won a number of awards for our research internationally in a short period of time and our research uh, that's coming out of the simulators is being published in international leading journals in aviation. So we believe we can make a uh, significant contribution to addressing industry concerns and improving flight safety around the world. This has been a Swinburne production.